welcome back to Modern Fossil. Episode 52. Yeah, boy! We're going to wipe the smile off of Red White's face. And, <laughs> and finish this testimony. Alright. So, alright, go ahead and uh, see which statement you want to present evidence to. Like, uh, what doesn't seem right. So she dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. So he's saying that she was hit savagely, then with the last of her strength moved away. She yeah, moved away and then was hit again. And then, I, and then I was the final bullet. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna... Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. Mm hmm? It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled! Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. What? Yep. Nope. Oh, what was your, what was your logic behind so that? Well. So I can... Okay, so... So I can use facts and logic to... Uh, so what I, what I was thinking is like... Okay, so the statement says... Dodge an attack, ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Yeah. Dodge an attack, ran to the right, caught and struck. What? Um, let's see, look, yeah. I was basically viewing, like, this as, like, the last part of that. You gotta take into consideration the statements before for the context. Uh, yeah. Just look over the evidence one more time. The individual ones, okay? Like from the beginning, from the very beginning. So, uh... uh not the attendance pack. Uh, uh, die from a blow from a blunt object may have lived, lived for a, short, a few minutes after being hit. Right. Uh, the, the, the cell phone, uh... Basically, Mia says that, um... Uh, what is the clock, uh, that the statue is a clock, and what's inside of it. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, glass shards that it's unrecognizable, unrec unrecognizable. Uh, the Finko clock made from the statue. Uh, the gears have been removed, made by Larry Butts. Wiretap found in, uh, Miss May's hotel room. Apartment is still receipt with letters that have been on, in blood on the back. And May said, it's just when the victim dodged an attack event to the right, but was caught and struck. The final blow. Yeah. Well, that makes it sound like she died. Right? Like, she died with the final blow. When in reality, she lived long enough to, like, write Maya... Yeah. ...on the note. Mmm. 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 Maybe? Well, uh... If, uh, based on your logic, which evidence should you present? Huh? Based on your logic, that, uh, that this, uh, that the final blow shouldn't have killed her, and instead she should have lived a little bit longer to enough to uh, write the note, which one would that be? Objection. Okay. Mr. White! The victim died from a single blow! <laughs> what do you have to say to that? Uh, uh. Now's my chance to yeah. hit him where it counts. Yeah, you were wrong. I, you got it right, but, but <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the answer was that uh, he said that she was hit twice when she was hit once. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? <laughs> I, I will refrain from using that phrase, this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. Objection! The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten-minute break. Yes, yes, quite! Objection! The witness is confused because he's lying! I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah! We want justice! Fuck you, yeah! Don't let him get away! No way! 
Hey! Very well! If the witness would care to revise his testimony! The crowd's on my side! No slipping out of this now, White! Mr. White? <laughs> okay. Um, well, see, I looked in the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Be Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then, uh, she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Flop! Hmm. Wop, indeed, waka waka! Yeah. Very well, you may begin the cross examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it, it, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. <laughs> <laughs> Poison's coming in any minute now. <laughs> All right. Um, well, see, I looked in the other window when I heard that thing fall. What thing? How could you have heard it fall if you were across the street? Uh, it still was the dead of night. You wouldn't hear something fall across the street. It's just a flaw it... on the writing. No, 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 no. It's like, you honestly could, actually. So, so how gonna, far away is the building? I would say like 20 feet. 20 to 30 feet. I guess maybe. All right, I don't buy it, but whatevs. You can put stuff, by the way. You're wondering uh, what, they are, what the object was, the thing, what the thing was. Mm. You're supposed to see what that is. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh. Oh, that? Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! So that's, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Well, yeah. It does, actually. How, you, how would you hear it? Or see it? How would he have saw it? It was in the corner of the room. Oh, yeah! 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 Yeah, you I'll press further! Yeah! It's the plant! The plant! The plant is the winner! The plant did it! <laughs> Mr. White! <laughs> huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Uh, yes. <laughs> then change your testimony to reflect that. Uh, so sorry. Uh, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay. Of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Next minute, uh, moment I saw me and Smeev went to the left. So you can press that or you can present evidence whenever you want. It was broken beyond all recognition. <laughs> so how could he recognize it? Hmm? Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. right there! Uh -huh. Mr. White! It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. <laughs> oh! Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question! Uh, isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over. <laughs> oh, so you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? Correct. That would be no problemo, right? Hmm. 
That's what I call... A big problemo! There's a big problemo. I, I mean, problem here. What problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Uh, correct. That is so. It's conclusive, inconclusive, definite, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. What? Why couldn't he? You have proof? I sure do, Your Honor. A person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over. Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? That's a photo of your wife. <laughs> that I'm baning, Your Honor. <laughs> Miss Fozzie. Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here! Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, Ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There is no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I... I... Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix White. What?! I forgot about Edgeworth! Mr. White? I think the time has come. Don't you confess your crime now, hmm? What? I said you should confess your crime. Now go. Confess that you placed the wiretap. The what? Wiretap? Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this! Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't! Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered the Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? <laughs> uh, correct! You're almost correct, Miles! Hmm. Give me a break! 
Yes, in order to place the wire tab, I reached the fame low car. Next line. <laughs> that is what I saw that accursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, your honor. Mr. Phoenix Voigt has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in his office. In the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like you to, uh, to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, there's a fact that Mr. White had been to the office well before the murder took place. When he went to the place at uh, the wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. Oh, go, Mr. Phoenix White's theory is revealed for the basis conjecture it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wire tapping. Ahem, leave it to me. I, I feel faint. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fainco Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw her, this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Ah! What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Thanks. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Do, do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Face phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, right. I had entered the Fanco law offices. Um, I mean, what does that get me? I mean, more details about when you entered? Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fayette Cole offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell me why you went to the went to the Fayette Cole offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Why did you tap me his phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. <laughs> it was quite stylish. So I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it! There's nothing for me to print him on! Oh well. Maybe he's rattled enough so I can bluff something out of him. Alright. What are you doing? Oh, you, 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 you said alright, I thought you were providing information. No, I was not. Uh... So that's everything. Yep. Wait. Why'd why you do that? What? Right. Read your lines. Ah, uh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Tisk, tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Voigt. 
The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this any more. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? I Yes, your honor. Who is talking about now? Uh... Phoenix! <laughs> Phoenix over here! I know that voice! Wait. Wait. What? What? Whoa! M Mia? What? Wait, this is, this is like a dream? Okay. I thought she was alive for a second. Never give up, Phoenix. Mia! What is going on? Where? Where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, uh. Uh, you're finally awake. What the? Yeah! What's going on? Hey, Phoenix! Yak? That's no way to greet an old friend. What is going on? What is happening? Phoenix, I want you to look at me. You... Well, well, hold on. You're... M Maya? What is going on? Didn't you know the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So... Maya is channeling you? Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm so messed up. I, I, I'm not even speaking the right voice. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. Uh, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh yeah! The one you wrote Maya on! Phoenix, White wrote that, not me! So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front. It's a regular receipt. It looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars? Wow, big spender. Item? Glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. Oh, September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Oh. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right! A seat for a glass light stand. The data purchases the day before the murder. September 9th, 1.16 p.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix. Hooray! Right! <laughs>
Come on down. <laughs> Get ready to fumble. Is the defendant rather? Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. <laughs> then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The post examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor! Please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Phoenix, Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. It's wrong button. Oh. Very well. You may begin your class examination. This should be pretty easy. It's the it's beginning the of September. Wait before the murder. Boom! Right there. That's it. Whatever you want. Good. Double check. Was I done? So the place to lower tap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. So, so I show it now. <laughs> I mean, you literally just said it. Yeah, he does say it. Yep. Thank God, because I would well, not have well, not, But now, right? because oh. you, you got to go through the testimony and then present it on the statement. So, do you present it on the statement? I feel like, yeah. I mean, Good. I feel like, it's a, look at me. You, you, you look at me, and I'm trying to be like, oh, I don't know. I mean, it's and all, like, it's I don't all... want you to confuse you. I want you to be confident in you answer. I'm not. Sir Cat. Whoa, hey, buddy. Whoa. I don't think you can see that on the camera. Mm, no. Um, oh, well. All right. Here goes nothing, Mia. Objection! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> <laughs> You're grasping! <laughs> I think not! Look at the other side of the receipt! The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand! And the date of purchase! Why, that's the day before the murder! <laughs> You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fay and Co. offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. <laughs> well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. <laughs> Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Hmm. Uh, very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Objection! Not so fast, Phoenix Vite. Huh? What? No way he could worm his way out of this one. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There is a certain thread of logic to the defender's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Uh. Elgo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm? Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Objection! 
Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. White the trial, it will be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis for f in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied! Ugh. What? The completion of the trial and Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No! There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now! Edgeworth is sure to come up with... or just make up something! And after Mia showed up to help me and all... Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course! Thank you for your time! The witness will stay! M Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. <laughs> Finally! A piece of paper! Your Honor, if I may! You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like. Oh, wait, my God. My God. <laughs> I have something I'd like to read to the court. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely unfamiliar. I mean, the familiar. Where did I get the um? People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! This deceased, halt! Please, stop! Make him stop! Oh, how did you get the list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. <laughs> I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss May with... the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again! That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> we only had to blackmail him. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. <laughs> hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem. <clears throat> Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty! Oh, God. God! I'm allergic to pepper! <laughs> that is all! The court is adjourned! September 9th, 224 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But, congratulations! You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both. You and my on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live. My time here's running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No! There's still so much to say! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight, say, 9? Mm. The office? 
I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! Are they about to straight up Patrick Swayze this? Like, ghost? Mm. Jennifer Grey? Ooh. September 9th, 9.02 p.m. We might Franco have to Law. blur some of this. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia! I was kind of worried he might not. Huh? Of course I came. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like that ejaculation. <laughs> well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia! <laughs> you should see your face! Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! M Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like? You were her! Hmm. Might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, won't you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... huh? She means the office! This office! Someone has to help with the new writer collapses, right? I heard better but me, Maya Fay, reporting to duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here. Ready to get down to business. You... don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name! Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners! You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail! Right in co-law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah! Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here. Watching. Look at Phoenix, like, what the fuck? Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? God! Nick, are you alright? Right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. A uh, final, I mean, yeah. Huh? Do, what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on! Time's a wasting. Uh, okay! Wait up! That's the end of case two. Wow. Nicely done, Mac. Nicely done, Darren. Da Darren, sorry, I always yeah. get that. I always, uh, always mess that up. Yeah, after I got rid of my band. Man, that was such a good band. Okay, what did you think about the case? You know, here's what I'll say. Oh, shit. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Oh, oh. God. That, that, God. Don't look at that. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, so, uh. like... I think... I think the case itself was, like, pretty predictable. Well, like, yeah. Like, as far as, like... Obviously, like, as soon as I saw the receipt, I'm like, okay, we're going to read this receipt, right? And then they never read it. I'm like, oh, my God, this is definitely it. So, like, the characters in this case compared to the first case. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's more characters. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if I like them better. I really liked old What's-His-Face. Marvin Grossberg? No, and the last Miles one. Miles Edgeworth? The, the last one. Oh, the last one? Oh, the like, pain, Frank Solid. Pain, I liked pain a lot. You know? Um, but yeah, in this one, you get like. Yeah, I guess it was about. I think it was about even par. Uh, for a second there, I thought Mia wasn't dead. I really did. I was like, yeah. how is she alive? And then the whole, the whole, like, spirit thing was really weird and out of nowhere. But, you know. This game. The series, rather. It's known for its ridiculousness. Right. Definitely and, uh, ridiculous. The, the, the spirit channeling thing is part of the ridiculousness. Does that continue? Is that something that continues? Yes, it does. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. 
It's uh, yeah, I quite a big factor in a lot of cases, actually. I feel like the first one is your origin story, and then this one is like episode one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, in terms of the mystery, yeah, they show that Red White's the killer immediately. They always show you the killer is? No, 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 no. Okay, cool. The next case, they don't show you. The, the next couple of cases, they don't show you the oh, killer nice. is. Oh, nice. I like that. Yeah. So, it's usually the first case in every game that tells you who the killer is. Right, right. You know. Uh, but what do you think about uh, Edgeworth as a, the new prosecutor? He looks like a... Uh, like, uh... He just looks like uh, the. He looks like a villain in like another video game. Um, like a video game called like Fantasy Saga or something. Yeah. Uh, what do I think of him? I like how he's like. Uh, ah, oh, great. Of course, Edgeworth is gonna figure this one out. He's more of like a threat. Which that's cool. Yeah. Uh, there's a thing where. Uh, where. Uh... Edward talked to him, like, before the case started, and it seemed like they knew each other. What do you think is up with that? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. It's like they knew each other. That's right. And he was always like, oh, man, Edgeworth, Edgeworth this, Edgeworth that. Yeah. Hmm. He said, Edgeworth, you've changed. Mm. That's what Phoenix said. They, so I guess they could be the same age, and maybe they went to a law school together. Mm-hmm. And then they kind of, like, yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, maybe that. Uh, my thoughts on this case is that it's a good like introduction to some of the staple characters that are very very good. Uh, but overall, it's pretty minor in, when it comes to like mystery and like stuff like that and like how the killer did it. Yeah, it was know? like no mystery in that regard. Yeah. But uh, there's like a it's like setting up a lot of stuff. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like Gumshoe. You like Dick, Gumshoe? Dick Gumshoe. Man, what a name. Uh, yeah, I like that. He's uh, a typical, like, uh, flimsy detective. Right. He's overconfident. And Maya's better than Mia. I mean, shout out to Mia. She died, you know, yeah. for the cause. But Maya, like, she isn't showing off her, uh, you know, her, uh, it, it, her cleavage, her cleavage yeah. and all that. I like, You know, that gets yeah. a little out of control there, you know? Maya's more, she's more innocent, at least now, and has more of a personality. Mia was just a horn dog, you know, so. In terms of the designs, I would say that, yeah, probably, for now, April May is the most egregious. That, that was crazy. When it comes to uh, design. But at least they don't, at least with her, they didn't, like, pretend like she wasn't ridiculous. Yeah. I feel like they never mentioned how Mia was just straight up dressed up like 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 a like a sexy lawyer at a bachelor party <laughs> that's gonna end it for this episode of modern fossil yes correct. case two is finished we're gonna do, do case three the next episode uh we're gonna take it like a week long hiatus that's right uh i'm gonna be stranded in the desert uh max could be stranded in, in the uh, ocean opposite. oh in the ocean so opposite the... uh elements yes uh any last things you want to say um Here's what I'd like to say. Is you're gonna do something like this. Make sure it's air conditioned. Yep. Cause man, if it's not, you may really question what you're doing. But if it is, it'll be fun. And also, also, cornbread doesn't exist. Just saying it now. Cornbread is horrendous i've never seen corn in it <laughs> there's no corn in it don't call it cornbread if it's not there's no corn yeah trying to mislead us all right take i'm care. out dislike subscribe click yeah. that bell love you love you